Hello and welcome to The Human Now, where we're discussing ideas around what it means to be in this state of time and most importantly, making positivity louder. No matter where you are around the world, welcome, no matter what mood you're in or what you're feeling, we hope this episode helps lift your vibration today. I'm Cash. And I'm Perry. And And this this is The The Human Human Now. Now. (laughs) What episode are we doing? 73. (laughs) Oh man, we uh, had a bit of confusion Mm -hmm. off camera. Yeah, we thought we're going to be recording... Three. I thought we we're going to record one episode today. I thought we were recording three episodes. Because I called you earlier in the day <laughs> and I said, Perry. No, no, hang on, hang on. We got to back it up a little bit more. All right. Yesterday, mm-hmm. when we talked about it. We said, we'll do three. Yeah. And then you called me this morning mm-hmm. saying, what, say, well, what do you say? Think? What did you think you said? <laughs> I hear what I, what I heard you say yeah. was, okay, cool. Um, should we do one? Yeah. And what what was my response? My response to you should have been the where the red flags came up and the 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 miscommunication should have been evident to you. I said, no, 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 let's stick to six. And then I was like, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're we're doing, you're we're doing one, one you're and we're one doing p- it at 6.30. <laughs> cool, 6, 6.30. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Perry said we're doing one. Anyway. And then we get here. That's, I was... Uh, yeah, a little bit of confusion. That's right. We're here. <laughs> All right. So what do we have on the agenda? <laughs> You're probably not the best person. I don't, I don't know what's, okay, I don't know let what's me, going let me on take, today. <laughs> okay. So on the agenda, we've got a, we'll check in with a morale. Perry might throw in something, <laughs> something a, a little extra earlier on. Yeah. Uh, we've got some gratitude. We'll talk about this live event that we've got coming up as well. Sure. Um, and then we'll finish off with some wise words. Wise words from four. WWFTP. Sweet. Uh, so, <laughs> so morale check, is that what we're doing right now? No, you said you had something else planned? I don't have, oh, the, my song. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a bunch of, a couple of sisters doing it for themselves. Mm-hmm. That's, the song is who we are. Yep. I think you can't go wrong with uh, Aretha Franklin as well. Um... <laughs> What's the song make you feel? How about you tell Makes us about that? Makes me feel empowered. <laughs> Makes me feel like a like a beautiful woman mm-hmm. that can do anything. Yeah, I think it's important to tune into those feminine energies sometimes. I agree. You know. Um. Yeah, I think all Aretha Franklin songs make you feel for some sort of way. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So and nice. why'd you pick that? Why'd you pick that? Um. Just a just a good pick me up. Yeah. It's one of those. Wh- I think, like again, I go back to Aretha Franklin. She's one of those artists that anytime you put on, she, she, it's it's uplifting. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's why. Yeah, I chose chose her. Kind of makes you want to feel like you need to grab the air and pull it yeah, down. Yeah, 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 exactly. Channel your energies. Exactly. Nice. All right. Where's the morale at, man? Uh, confused. <laughs> <laughs> that's where my morale is at. I'm mm-hmm. um, sitting at a sitting at a. Seven. That's pretty good for pretty good. someone who kind of needs the plan. And <laughs> about 30 seconds before hitting record, this guy looked like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the thing is, I think what we're talking about, the, the topic for today is is mm. more of a discussion. So yep. it was minimal planning anyway. Mm. I think just the confusion. Yep. But it's good. We mm-hmm. just uh, had date night. Oh, cute. Where'd you go? Uh, new, well, not a new place. I think it's... It's been there for a while. It's called Zhang. Right. And Mountain Road. Yep. Um, so Chinese, I mean, not, yeah, Chinese fusion. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Highly recommend. There we go. I was so, just yeah. going to ask if, if um, you'd recommend it. Yes. Oh, very cute. Yep. And um, I have to say it, but was the matching outfits planned? No. So the matching colors? I, I pulled out a shirt. This, <laughs> yeah. is what, this is what happened, right? I pulled out a shirt mm-hmm. and I waved it around the room and I said, I'm going to iron this. Do you want me to iron anything for you? Mm-hmm. I ironed said shirt. <laughs> no, went for a shower and I came out and same color was, she was wearing the same color and I had already ironed a shirt. We're about to leave. So this is how it but is. You guys look cute. So there you go. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. In terms of my morale. Yes, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, this episode is uh, it's, it's, it's fun. Don't worry, mate. Yeah, yeah. We're we're on the track. We're doing good. I w- I would say that uh, yeah, I'm probably about a, a seven. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling good. Back in the room, uh, I feel like the day or the, actually the holidays have gone super quick. Yeah. I guess that's why I was kind of stressing out this morning and gave you a call and was like, okay, actually, let's just do one because right. I need to focus a bit. Do 1 p.m. <laughs> one show. <Okay. laughs> Sorry, I'm still confused. Yep. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling good. There's, like I said, last episode, things have kind of in the in the mix and the work in terms of the opportunity that's mm. coming up. I still don't want to say it until things are 100% yep. confirmed because yep. it could go... Either way, yeah. But we're it's looking a little bit more certain for now, so yeah, feeling like a seven. It's very exciting. I'm excited for you. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, let's get into some gratitude. Yeah, man. What are you feeling grateful for? I'm grateful for the <laughs> tools in my tool shed. Oh yeah. So this morning, like I don't know if you had a look in the last couple of days when you've been over here, but the garden, it's... the grass was just it was like a jungle out there. Yeah, and I think today I was just especially grateful for the line trimmer, or the weed whacker, mm. just because there's no way the lawnmower could have mowed through right, all right. of that. You just need to get out there and just chop it and trim it, trim it down to something that's a bit more manageable. Yep. And if, yeah, if I didn't have a lawnmower or if I didn't have a line trimmer, then man, I would have so not been a happy person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's it's not the biggest garden yeah. as well, but it can take the longest time if you don't yeah, have yeah, the yeah. right tools. For sure. So. It's a lesson in life. Mm. Mm-hmm. How about you? Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling grateful for... Um, feeling grateful for... Without saying too much. Yep. Um, the truth. Mm-hmm. And... And um, and realizations. Mm-hmm. I think that's all I want to say. Very good. Very nice. nice. All right. Let's talk about this live event. Yes. Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to give us a bit of a backstory as to where this has come from? Um, I think it was on the podcast. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. I mean, I think I've always wanted to. No, I think I've I've always wanted to. I always knew that live events and and like live speaking events mm-hmm. is where I want to end up one day. Um, and so you threw out a question on the podcast, and I said I want to do a live event by June. Yep. And so we're on this journey now. I think the. I think the idea. Um. I think it's a. I think it's the the evolution of what we're trying to build here. Mm. I think we've yep. we've the podcast has always been that an audio show. Mm-hmm. Um, I think with the original one, the very very first episodes, or when we first thought about it, was it was going to be audio only. Yeah, and then um, just happened to be that we had cameras, cameras, right? and then therefore the cameras came about. So mm-hmm. I think it's it's evolutionary. It's I think it's right the right direction that we want to take the podcast in. Yep. Um, but it's a, it's a personal goal of mine as well to be able cool. to connect with people, mm-hmm. um, in person. Cause you can, you can do so much behind a camera or in front of a camera. Yeah. Um, but to connect at a, at a ne- at the next level, I think we need to connect. I definitely see it like, you know, when we're sitting here and we're talking, um, like I can feel the energy and the emotion mm. even through like after like. You know, even just from what I say and I'm sitting here and we're talking and, you know, we're feeling this energy. And then yeah. I look back in the replay, I'm like, oh, is is that what it looks like? Right. So it's 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 like it's a completely different ball game. Yep. You know, like I feel like the energy and the atmosphere, all of that kicks in mm-hmm. in a live event. Like sitting here in the room and you got the lights, you know, you got all the cameras going, it's and you're sitting here, the mics are all real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it is a completely different experience. Yeah. Yeah. I think we always feed off people's energy as well. Mm. I think like you, we mentioned just over the, the, the break, uh, Christmas break, you know, going to our family events and speaking to people, like yeah. people are connecting with what we're saying. Mm. Um, and so it was nice to hear 
that feedback. Like we, we read feedback, we, we see feedback, yep. um, but to have a personal connection and be able to discuss something with someone yeah. is a, is a very different feeling. hundred percent. So that's why we want to take this to the people. Mm-hmm. And so we thought about as well as like, instead of us just discussing and planning this live event behind the scenes and people turn up mm. that we actually plan out or discuss what we want to do on the show. Yep. So take people on the journey, um, kind of get a, what do you say? Like a behind the scenes look into the preparation in terms of what we're thinking. Like all of this is a hundred percent off the cuff. Like yeah, <laughs> just, what we're putting or what we're bringing sure to the is. table is just the, the rawness. Yeah. I'm playing right? chess here actually on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no notes in front of me. I've just got a run sheet. But. <laughs> um, in terms of some cues. So I guess we've kind of discussed the, the, where this has come from in the backstory. Yeah. What is the, like, what is the purpose and what is it going to serve in terms of this live show? Um, I think you could probably speak more to the human now side of it. Mm -hmm. I'd be a little bit selfish and say that, um, I have the ability to, to connect and spread a message. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's what I want to do. Yeah. Uh, I want to be able to bring people into a room, move them with storytelling and emotions and Mm -hmm. hopefully inspire them to do the things that inspire them or to want to have more or be more or achieve more. Yep. Um, I think when it comes to human now, this the message of positivity and and everything that it stands for is is a message that needs to be out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's just perpetuating the the yeah. idea of giving to the community. Yep. And making positivity louder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm thinking too. You know, it's the, like, when we say the human now, the humanness, I think it's so multifaceted. Mm. There's so many parts of life and what it means to be a human and what it entails. Yeah. That we're not necessarily the ones who know it all. Yep. Right? And I think what we enjoy actually is listening to the stories of other people. Correct. Um. And it's like what we've always said from the beginning, you know, is that success leaves clues. Correct. Standing on the shoulders, shoulders. of giants, yep. you know. And so if, even if we could get a little bit of their time and create an opportunity where there's more than just the two of us benefiting from that. And I think having that and getting people into proximity of these people mm. into the same room, that's just magic. You know, and I, I love going to seminars, listening to people talk, um, having done uh, Tony Robbins' course online, yeah. um, even with Chime Mission, you know, and going to the talks when Swamiji and Guruji come. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just that the atmosphere I love again because it's so positive as well. Yeah, yeah. And then the now, like it's just like this is our life. This is our shot. So we just got to do it now. We have the ability to change our future Mm -hmm. or our present, actually. And I guess, like, the actual thing that has stuck with me now is the law of diminishing intent. (laughs) Like, it keeps coming back. Yeah. You know? And it's that in any moment, we have the ability to change the trajectory of our life. Yeah. And so if we're able to bring a whole bunch of people into a room and just one person say something that's going to change someone's life, like that's job done, Mm -hmm. you know? So, and, and I think that's the same with this podcast as well. And the show is that there might be one message that's going to change someone's whole day, whole week, whole life, just from something that's been shared. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's kind of like, again, the, the purpose for the live event. Yeah. I like it. So who is it for? For young and old, Mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah. I think it's anyone that wants to um, have a good time. Yep. Uh, Feel good. Anyone who just wants to see the positive side of life, you know, 
Like if you think positive and you think yellow, then this is the place for <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Um, who was it for? I think that I think that covers it. Mm. I don't think there's. It could be like I think it can be for anyone. Mm. I think it's nice to say that it's young and old again. That kind of encompasses the humanness. Um, it's just. Again, at any age, your life could change. You've got the ability to change your life. Yep. Um, like, I don't know, do you let the kids listen to the podcast? Yeah. And what do they think? Um, well, I don't think they, what, what do they think? Yeah. Can I repeat that? Yeah, so we've got Perry's wife actually sitting here in the room. And she said that the boys, when they listen to, so Perry's kids, when they listen to the episodes a couple days later, they'll repeat things that they've actually learned. So, like, they're taking, young minds are taking the information in. Correct. Which is, this is the first time I've heard this. (laughs) (laughs) You know, and I think it's true. Like, when I see, like, your boys our other nephews and nieces, like they're, they're constantly taking in information. And so Little sponges, yeah. And so even to have them sitting in the room, I think is beneficial. Like why not make it a family event? Mm. You could bring your whole family. It doesn't just have to be for individuals. Yep. And I guess if that's what we want to do, that's what we'll make it. Let's make it a child friendly, family friendly event. Yeah. Which kind of then also then helps us to kind of figure out who would be speaking as well then, you know, we'll make sure that we get, yeah, all, yeah. yeah we cover all bases, all ages. Hmm. Mm. That's exciting. Mm. You want to dress up as a clown? Me? Yeah. Why? <laughs> so kids can laugh at me? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you, if, if we hit, I'll, I'll do my following. dance. Yeah. I'll do my you dance. You'll do your dance at, at the this live, live event. Show. Uh, should we get an update on that while we're yeah. here? We're sitting at 519. Uh, we're doing good. We're followers. doing good. We've got like half a month left to go. <laughs> Come on, everyone, please <laughs> jump on the bandwagon. Um, so when are we doing this? We said June. June. Which is very soon. Mm. How are you feeling about that? Uh... We've done enough events to know that it's we can do it's it. it's possible to yeah. to um to put together an event. Yep. I think the the scary part is what are we what are we doing there? I was gonna say the scary part for me is how many people in um, the scale. You know? Yeah. How many people are you thinking? Well, initially I was thinking like getting not like a small room, but like what I was picturing in my head was that we're kind of set in the middle. Mm -hmm. There's like a rig that's got the lights and then everyone's around us. Okay. That's kind of what, so that's maybe about a hundred, 300 people. Yeah. Then that's the kind of the size that I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was the same. I think I was sitting around 300 Mm -hmm. as well. There's a lot of people. It is. And that scared me. And then yeah. I was like, oh, should we tone it down a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Say 10? Yeah. You know, and I, I don't know if that's like because I'm thinking about the time or if that's doubt creeping in, like what is it? people you actually going to. You know what it is. Yeah. What is it? It's that imposter syndrome. Because mm. then as soon as I thought about that, I was like, no, actually what we need to think about is who we're going to get in there to speak. Yeah. Because then if we get the right people in to speak, then they'll, you know, it's not just about us. We're actually, like we said, we're going to get other people to come in. They'll bring their own audiences in, Mm -hmm. you know. So who are you thinking? I was thinking Phil. Phil would come, my boss. Yeah. I'm talking about space and how space can be positive and beneficial for people. That's all I've thought about so far. <laughs> mm. um, 
Is it like a, is it, we're going to do like a, is it a live podcast? I think so. Situation or? Yeah. Because then I was also thinking like, is it like a TEDx event? That type of a thing. But I think it needs to be more like an actual live. And so when I'm thinking about the set, I was like, do we bring the table and do we bring the plants and things in? You know, do we make it look as realistic as, like we have one person sitting here watching. Imagine if we had another 99. Yeah. And then the people that we invite on are just, as in their guests on the podcast. Yeah. Cool. What about you? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I think, I think, um, I think there could be a hybrid yep. where they come on, we give them 10, 15 minutes to yep. speak mm-hmm. and then we come in and they sit down with us and we ask questions. Yeah. And I think also then having that time for a bit of Q&A with the audience. With yeah, the audience. For sure. Like, do you remember the time Gary V came mm-hmm. and that guy didn't sell anything? He just went straight to the Q&A. Q&A. He gave like a talk for me about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, straight into Q&A. I felt like that day he gave the most value. value. Yep. And he did very little. Yeah. By doing so much, you know? So I think, yeah, having a little bit of a Q&A would be good. Cool. So we, yeah, so we get them up. They do a little spiel. Mm-hmm. Sit down with them. Yep. Chat for a few minutes and then cool. open it up to the audience. Okay. Um, I think it'd be a good time to ask anyone out there watching, listening, um, to make some suggestions of guests mm, yep. or speakers. Um, and if you know someone, like if you've got connections and you're listening to this, like we'd happily lean on you. Um, like if you think, you know, people have got or could bring value to the event. Yep. If you've got connections, I think that's like, that's how we get anyone onto the podcast is actually just going through our networks who knows who? Cool. You know? Yeah, for sure. And so if we could lean on people, then we'd 100% appreciate the support. Help. Yeah. Um, what else? The where. The where. Mm. Where are we doing it? <laughs> I mean, we don't have to have it figured out now, but like if you've thought about it in your head or you've got an idea or... Um, I don't. Yeah. But now I'm thinking about your, your setup with us sitting in the middle. It's a big space. That we're Cause what need. were you thinking then initially? It was just. I was thinking it was like a, just like a normal, uh, uh, auditorium sort of setup. Mm-hmm. What type of auditorium? Like stage in front and then people sitting. The oh audience. yeah. Uh, but I, I feel like, like your... they need to be a bit more intimate, but more oh, yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. here. Yep. You know? I like your idea. Yeah. Like, they're just around. Yeah. Because then they feel like they're sitting at the table, Part of it, you know? Yeah. Whereas if we're up on a stage, then just a bit disconnected and mm. that's when people, like, fall asleep or mm, it's mm. on their phone. But yep. I always like a bit of engagement. Have you got a venue in mind? No. <laughs> I was thinking, actually, um, just, like, hitting up the the guys at Aotea, like not doing it Aotea, but um, that little hall next to the town hall. Next to the town hall. Oh, yep, yep, yep. In there. Like if they've got a dark day or something. Mm-hmm. Seeing if we could give that a go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or even Q Theatre. Yeah. And the lights and stuff are all there. Yeah. I mean, there might be some costs involved, but we see if we can get that sponsored. And then, like, even even Q would be nice. That's got the atmosphere and the environment, and then, yeah, we'd go hard and mm. make it happen. Okay. So what's lots the next of, steps? Lots of, <laughs> yeah. Lots to think about. Lots of, I think we, um, I think the first thing we need to do is get all of our ideas down on paper. Mate, we've just recorded them all. Okay. So but now, yeah, let's get them down on a spreadsheet. Let's not write anything down <laughs> yeah. then at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we got you here. <laughs> Mate. I think uh, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to lock in a, uh, a, lock date. In a date and then a venue. venue. Um, those would be the hardest. Mm-hmm. And then we need to start um, 
once we've got that, then we need to a start selling some tickets. Or if it's a free event, it's a free event. What do you reckon? I don't know. I think I think dependent. I would like to cover costs. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're not here to make money from this. No. Um, cool. But I would like to cover costs. Yep, hundred percent. Um, so we can continue to do more yeah. events. Um. Um. What was the question? What's next? What's the plan? Yeah. So uh, so so yeah. So sell tickets. Yep. And then we need to start um, finalizing the agenda. Mm, the lineup. The lineup. Cool. Okay. But yeah, venue and date first. I was even thinking just even Tepec. Yeah, I was thinking Tepec as well. That could work too. Because then, then it's flat. Yeah. It's, yep. Nice. Cool. Exciting. Exciting. And then um, we're going to get Paradise to be our catering partner as well. <laughs> Sweet. Easy. Cool. Sorted. Easy. Just like any Indian event. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just come for the food. Come for the biryani. <laughs> All right. Cool. That's uh that's made it a little bit more real and Yeah. I'm nervous and excited. Same. Yeah, I'm 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 initially I'm scared, but I think that's just excitement. Yep. For me. You know, like, because otherwise it's all, it's just all that imposter syndrome, all that doubt, all that fear coming in and saying, like, who are you? You can't do this. But I think we have to remember what we've done in the past. Mm. You know, like you've pulled off a 360 degree show. We've done multiple shows before. We know how the podcast works. We've spoken to people before. We just got to bring all of those together. Yep. I think what we should do yep. is we should both go away from this mm-hmm. and we need to both do a visualization mm-hmm. of what this looks like for us. Yep. Um, cause I, cause this was, this was awesome to get our initial thoughts down. Yeah. But I think to really make it real in our mind and see what it, what it looks like, what the format is, all of these questions that we've just yep. asked ourselves. Yeah. I think we really need to, um, sit and allow space and time yep. and visualize what we think it really is. Mm-hmm. Um, and talk to people, soundboards, yep. you know, like everything we just talked about in episode 71. Yep. You know, we were, I think it was 71, 71 or 70, we were just talking about um, the goals that we have for the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and the points that you made. Correct. Um, so, yeah, so I think let's, cool. th- that, that is the first step. Yep. Then we can crystallize. Nice. Uh, or crystallize our thinking, get it down on paper, date, venue, line up, and advertise. Advertise. If we can get, if we can get 300 people, um, that would take this whole thing on a, Completely new. Oh, yeah. Trajectory. Yeah. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Cool. Nice. All right, man. Tell us about this new segment. (laughs) (laughs) Wise words for the people. So I think sometimes like life's greatest messages come from the simplest people in the simplest lines. Yep. And where this originates from is me asking my dad, like this would just be on Snapchat Mm. to like my cousin's group or my friend's groups, you know, and just being like, Bruce, uh, what's your wise words for the people? What's your message for today? And he'd just say one line and that's it. You know, like Bruce is a very simple minded person, just says one line and that's it. You got to think about it. And it's entertaining at the same time. There's a lot of truth behind what he's said. So I thought it'd be good just to bring that type of a segment into the, into the show in a way to kind of finish the episodes up. Nice. So hit us with your wise words for the people. Mm -hmm. My wise words for the people. It's just open your eyes. (laughs) (laughs) Like it's so simple, but open your eyes. And I think what, where that comes from is just see the opportunities. Mm you know, and see how you can make situations, circumstances work for you mm. and not against you. Yeah. That's really cool. Cause just of what you told me at the end of, after we um, stopped 
yeah. about the opportunity that's, that had, has come your way. Yep. Um, and so I'm thinking back to that situation yeah. and what you've said there is um, exactly what you've done yep. and what someone else has completely missed out on mm. an amazing opportunity because they didn't yeah. open their eyes. And there's so many, so many things that go past us every day. Yeah. You know, and I think it's just if we opened our eyes and saw it as an opportunity and just took it, then imagine what life could be like, mm. you know? And I think um, it's like what the the, the one and only GOAT, TR, says. Yeah. You know, is you got to find the leverage. See how a situation can work for you. And yeah. The bigger the lever, you know, the easier it is. But I think life could just be that much more fun if you opened your eyes. Yeah, for sure. And that's it. That's the wise words. Nice and simple. Nice. Very easy. And not to take too seriously, but if you don't, it's up to you. Cool. That's You're, us for today, man. You want my one? Oh, you got one. I've got one. This guy made it sound like it's just me doing no, it. No, 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 no. All right, yeah, let's hear it, so, man. So we... <laughs> Coming from the daddy. So, <laughs> don't call me that. So when uh, you told me about this, mm -hmm. I was, I was, again, it was, it was a very confusing day for me. <laughs> Bro, this guy, <laughs> oh my gosh, now it's all making sense because this guy's like, huh, huh, what are we doing? And then I put it in the notes and then he was like, oh, your dad. Yes. yes. So you thought I was talking about your dad. No, I was, I, I thought it was like a segment on, I thought it was like something on TikTok where it's a trend or some <laughs> nonsense. I, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. Anyway, so when you told me about it, I was very confused. And then, then I thought about it and I thought, anytime we bring up the segment, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it with song lyrics. Okay. Always. <laughs> right. Right. So um, I think I think you know who the artist is going to be. It's, it's uh, one of the goats. There's only two that I can think of. Okay, so should we say who you think it is at the same time? Yeah. Well, I'll give you a countdown on three, okay? I mean, we'll go one, two, three and say it. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Kanye. Taylor Swift. Oh, my God. Okay, then it's going to be Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this comes from Taylor Swift. Yep. It is very simple. Okay, let's try to guess what the, the, the really go, go count us down. What? <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Shake it off. <laughs> So the players are going to play, 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 play. And the haters, what are they going to do? Hate. They're going to hate, 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 hate. Yeah. Baby, I'm just going to shake, 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 shake it off. Just shake it off. Just shake it off. That's it. T-Swift <laughs> in the house. Mic drop. I don't know what, I, what, what you want me to say. No, I just wanted you to cue shake the song. Off. Oh, here we go. I've got it. <laughs> Are you taking us out? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. My boy's been all about the feminine energy today. <laughs> Sometimes you got to tap into it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. So shake it off. Very good. Nice way to end the session. I want to thank you, Perry. I want to thank actually for being here as well. I want to thank everyone who's tuned in and listened today. Um, again, just something a little bit different. Um, and hopefully this episode's kind of helped to show how we, like, we're not just coming on here to sit and talk about things. We're actually trying to break down and show how we go about trying to achieve the things we yeah, want yeah, to do yeah. in life. Right. Yep. So hopefully that brings a little bit more perspective, um, a little bit more understanding. And yeah, if you're keen to jump on the journey, if you're able to help us out, please do. If you've got someone that you could put us in touch with, any contacts to help what we're trying to do would really, really mm. appreciate it. If you feel like this episode has brought someone value, please do share it on to them. Otherwise, until next time. The uh, form for some pro bono coaching sessions is now in the show notes. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. It'll be in the previous one as well, but yeah. that will just sit there. Nice. Cool. Easy. All right, man. Until Thanks, next time. Be human. Be now. Is that what the saying is? Yeah. <laughs>
Да. Sweet. Feels good. It's very hot in here. You're just nervous because like she's in the room. No. That's how I felt when my mum was in here. <laughs> I was sweating. Like you, I was sweating so much last time as well. Oh. What is it? Are you comfortable? Cool as a clam. Oh. Cool as a crab? Cool as a what? 